Hello guys, we are back with another tutorial of the scientific calculator. So, as you all know, I'm using this uh, calculator FX991MS. So today I'm gonna show you how to convert a decimal number into binary, hexadecimal, and octal, or like this, uh, like a binary into a decimal or hexadecimal into binary or octal or any of these four. Okay, so let's get started. Uh, let's switch on this calculator. So to get into this, this all these modes, I have to press this mode button two times. Then I'll press three so that I can go in this base one. Okay, so I'll press three. Uh, so you can see this small d. It is representing the decimal. So I can insert any of the value like. Okay, so I am randomly chosen a number okay 15 so I have chosen 15 randomly and typing it yeah, equal to so this calculator have the value I have for decimal is 15 okay so I want to convert this 15 which is in the decimal I want to convert it in binary so you can see this small letters written in decimal hexadecimal binary and octal in the green right so 15 in decimal i'm going to convert it into binary so i'll press this so 15 in binary is one 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 okay then this 15 in octal it will be 17 this 15 in hexadecimal this will be F okay let's choose another number look this mode is in hazardous mode so I have to change it in decimal so I'll press this look it is in decimal okay so let's choose another number uh, 25 okay no decimal is 25 my uh, 25 is a decimal number. I'm going to convert it into uh, binary. So I'll press this binary button and this 25 is equal to 10011. Okay. Now this 25 will do octal, it will be 31. And this 25 in hexadecimal will be 19. So as you all know, hexadecimal just. <coughs> <clears throat> <It'll clears throat> okay uh, in today's tutorial I want to <clears throat> also tell you about let's just come in the normal one okay so now the cal my calculator is in the normal mode <clears throat> uh, uh, now I'll show you how to <clears throat> find out the log let's choose a random number <clears throat> um, let's choose log of two. So here's this log bracket two and equal to. So the values comes out to be point three zero one zero two nine. What if I have to convert <coughs> this value? <clears throat> like I have to find out or the anti log. Okay, so I have to find out the anti log of this number. So, um, for this, I'll press shift, then I'll press this button, okay? Now you can see the number I'll type will go into the power of this 10, okay? So, I'm pressing this value. I'll press this button. So, this value is come here, the power of 10 and this. 
here it comes out it's two uh, let's take another example mm, let's take five log of five will be 0. 0.6989 okay so what will the NT log of this value shift log answer and equal to this five okay yeah that's all for the today's tutorial guys thanks for watching if you like the video give it a thumbs up